last time on Cruising Joan Lynn. Jim and I leave Wapoose and set course for the town of Picton. We are traveling east through the Adelphi Street. We're actually heading west. And Joan decides to leave navigational duties to me. We arrived at the tip of the bay marina in the pouring rain. We were waiting for the rain to stop. The only thing left is the chess game, and I'm just not into it. But other than that, good trip. The rain finally stops, and Joan and I set off to explore Picton. The next morning, we left Picton and made our way to Belleville, Ontario to celebrate Canada Day. And we are headed through the Telegraph Narrows. And we have to stay within the buoys, otherwise we're gonna, we're gonna bottom out in shallow water. We made our way safely to Belleville, took care of some chores, and then headed out to explore the town. Find out what happens in Belleville this episode of Cruising Joan Lynn. Let's begin now. I woke up this morning and I said, you know, instead of waiting for a good day to happen, you know, waiting around through ups and downs, you know, I, I just said, look. We are in Crates Marina in the town of Belleville, which is on the Canadian mainland. Uh, we arrived here at what? Two? Two o'clock in the afternoon. We left um, at around 11 o'clock, we left uh, Picton and um, headed through a little bit of rain, a little bit of crappy weather uh, to get here. But once we got here and the boat was tied up, weather broke and the skies were clear, and we had a great day. We walked through the town uh, to kind of get the lay of the land. We are here in Belleville. We made it great and now we're on a bridge. But I don't know the name of it and I don't know the body of water. It's underneath it. some type of river. That's all I know. Some ice cream, gelato. We got some ice cream. Victoria Ave. Where is that? We found a bank that we could uh, get some Canadian currency uh, for it, so that we could spend. <laughs> And we um, met our neighbors who are staying in the sailboat next to us and uh, talked to him for a little bit. And then we went out to eat. After our laundry was done, we went out to a place called the Boat House. Beautiful, gorgeous afternoon. I think there's a system coming in tonight, but tomorrow is Canada Day. And My wife is a naysayer. Oh, well, hopefully it'll come and go before Canada Day celebration. Tomorrow is Canada Day. We'll be here for the celebration in Belleville. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Forget a turtle. We did. We did see a turtle. A little nudge. 
Um, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> turtles, turtles everywhere. Yeah, lots of turtles. But this one was like right in our path. And then uh, we came back and now we're here and uh, the coffee's brewing. We'll probably have a little coffee, take Looking showers. Looking forward to the market in the morning, Belleville Market. Yep, tomorrow we're going to the market. Looks like it's a little bit like Rochester Market. Mm -hmm. And uh, celebrating Canada Day. I'm looking to take a walk later. And I, there is a deaf school that I learned about, and I'm going to go up from the marina. I'm going to go past the park where all the Canada or Canada Day festivities are and then over on this section there is the um, Sir, what is it? The Sir, I forgot the name of it, Deaf School. Go around that and then I'm going to come back up to the walk that we did and then back over on this side. And <clears throat> we woke up to the pouring rain, but she's going to do all this Six. without an umbrella. It's about 1030. The rain has finally stopped and we're going to take a walk into the town and check out the farmer's market. We have to go back to the boat because we forgot the keys. He forgot the keys. <clears throat> Joan forgot the keys. He forgot the keys. And the keys have a little thing on them to open up the bathrooms at the marina, so we gotta go back. Damn it. Oh, oh. What time is it? Belleville Farmers Market, established in 1816, is located in the city's market square behind City Hall. We left the Elbow Market and we are now in Swift Park celebrating Canada Day, 150th year celebration. And uh, at our Canada Wear. It's a hamburger cow. Hamburger cow! <laughs> <laughs> FYI, the 
the song It's So Easy was originally written by Buddy Holly in 1958, then covered by Linda Ronstadt in 1977. Both artists are American, and so is the song. Happy Canada Day. Hey, I just wanted to give a shout out to all the uh, members of Boat Owners United. That's a Facebook group with a whole bunch of great guys and gals who all share the same love of boating as me. So, Boat Owners United, if you're not a member, join up. We headed back to the marina where boaters were celebrating Canada Day as well. All the booze you can drink and all the food you can eat. Compliments of the marina. As it turns out, a fleet of boats, members of the Rochester Yacht Club, were up for the weekend. Word traveled quick that we were also from Rochester. We were very welcomed and made lots of acquaintances. As Joan and I often like to do, we took a walk up and down the docks to check out the other boats when we came across the Silver Shadow. We met the owners last summer in Trenton. Unfortunately, they couldn't make it to the celebration. We waited for the sun to go down and made some buffalo wing flavored popcorn to devour while we watched probably the right. best fireworks display we have ever seen from the Sun Island of the Joan Lynn. Next morning, we began prepping the boat for travel to our last night's stay, which would be in Trenton, a municipality of Quinty West, Ontario, Canada. Join us next time on Cruising Joan Lynn. Joan and I depart Belleville and set a course for Trenton. We found that water was leaking from the fresh water connection. Trentport, Trentport, Trentport Marina. This is the vessel Joan Lynn over. Now we're just gonna hang out for a little while, enjoy this beautiful day. We encounter extraordinary travelers in the boat slip next to ours. The skipper in the boat behind us and his wife, Pat and Patty, Pat and Patty they uh, came over to, to meet us and we talked for a little bit. They are doing what they call the Great Loop. The Great Loop. Above us here, heading towards us is another Fortunately, rain, rain system. I can't wait to see land because uh, that means we're getting closer to home. Right now, I see nothing but water.